Hi, I'm Holly McManigal. I am the art teacher at West Middle School for the Sioux City Community School District. I'm going to talk about some of my students' work that's at the Sioux City Art Center for the Youth Art Month exhibit. First of all, I'll talk about uh, the two artists from sixth grade that did watercolor paintings. Um, Katie Estrada and Namal Kong did some landscape paintings with watercolor that were inspired by Hundewasser and Frank Gehry. Katie Estrada's painting called Sweet Countryside. She was super creative with some birds as her houses, using windows as the eyes for her birds. She's got some fun corn stalks in the back. Her composition is very balanced and she's got great craftsmanship with her watercolor painting. Namol Kong has houses in plain sight. She was also really creative with including water and land with a mobile pizza place for her home and also including a little tiny house up in the clouds. She also did a great job using watercolor techniques. Mercedes Olvarez and Erin Palmershine both did clay projects made out of pinch pots. Mercedes made a cute little clay bird and Erin Palmershine made an awesome little angler fish. The lesson was that they had to take a pinch pot and make it into some type of animal. And with the way that their glazes came out, they both did a spectacular job. Omar Orizoko did a clay vase. His um, vase was called Clay Monster. The assignment was to create a vase with some type of face. Omar was creative with making it into a monster. He has great craftsmanship and his glaze turned out really nice as well. Evelyn Padilla did an oil pastel landscape called Cityscape. This was a silhouette assignment where the students had to take black paper and make some type of silhouette in their landscape. Evelyn did a great job making her cityscape and using different oil pastels to create a cool night galaxy um, scheme. She took it a step further than just the oil pastels. She also used acrylic paint to splatter um, the stars or the galaxy light in the back. Daisy Topetti created a clay slab box titled Save the Turtles. Daisy chose to put a little turtle on the top with some fish and sea creatures along the outside of the box. She also has really nice craftsmanship. Betsy Nichols, Kaya Davis, and Caden Wynn all did a mixed media project using Sharpies and a picture from a magazine. They took a person out of a magazine and cut them out cut their hair off, and glued it down to a paper, giving it a nice balanced composition. By giving they, their person some crazy hairs and tangled designs, and then making sure that they did the background in a nice contrast um, design or shapes, usually geometric shapes. My eighth graders, Julio Santos, Mary Grace Fairchild and Keegan Cummings all did self-portraits. With this project, they took either a picture of themselves or they took a selfie, had somebody else take their picture, and we manipulated the pictures using filters in Photoshop. After we did that, we printed them off and we used a transparency film to go over top of the, the copy and they used a Sharpie to color in all the areas that they wanted black. The students learned about different value techniques and different ways to create um, values with their Sharpies. Then they used acrylic paint to paint the backgrounds and the color in their self-portraits. As you can see with Keegan Cummings, he has a lot of different values, a lot, lots of tints and shades going on in his work to make his unique. And you can see how intricate that he's done the sunflowers with all the different values and the, all the different um, pinks in his sunflowers. Mary Grace 
took a, also took a selfie of herself. What I love about this is you can see her personality coming through. She's done a nice job choosing where to use the Sharpie and where not to use the Sharpie to make her painting look more interesting. And then Julio Santos also did a great job using two different values in his face and knowing where the right place to put the black Sharpie to make his painting look interesting. Thank you.